Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. You are welcome to Nasra Public School Online Teaching System. Grade 6 English Language, Week 3, Lesson 1, Topic Countable and Uncountable Nouns. Students Learning Outcome. In this lesson, students will be able to identify countable and uncountable nouns, use the correct articles, determiners and quantifiers with countable and uncountable nouns, Explain a difference between countable and uncountable nouns. Use them correctly in a sentence. Let's watch a video first. Countable and uncountable nouns. Jessica eats an apple every day. She loves apples. Apple is a countable noun. We can count apples. We can say an apple, two apples, three apples. Countable nouns are nouns we can count. They have a singular and a plural form. Apple. Apples. We use a, an or a number before a countable noun. An apple. Three apples. With countable noun we can use a singular verb or a plural verb. This apple is delicious. These apples are delicious. Emily drinks milk every morning. She likes milk. Milk is an uncountable noun. We cannot count milk. We cannot say a milk or ten milks. Uncountable nouns are nouns we can't count. Uncountable nouns are also called non-countable nouns, non-count nouns and mass nouns. They have only a singular form. We can't use a, an or a number before an uncountable noun. Uncountable nouns always use a singular verb. Milk is white. Milk is uncountable. So, we must use a singular verb. To count or quantify an uncountable noun, we use a unit of measurement, a measure word. For example, we cannot usually say two breads because bread is uncountable. But we can say two loaves of bread or two slices of bread. Loaf and slice are two measure words we can use for bread. We can measure sugar and other powders in kilograms. A kilogram of sugar. We can also measure sugar in packets. Two packets of sugar are the measure words you can use with uncountable nouns are piece, piece of cake, spoon, two teaspoons of sugar. Liquids and gases can also be made countable by counting the containers they are in or by using a unit of measure. For example, a glass of water. Two bottles of juice. Water and juice are uncountable nouns. We are not counting them. We are counting the containers they are in. I've already drunk two coffees this morning. The country produces hundreds of different cheeses. Sometimes an uncountable noun is used in plural form. This is usually connected to drink or materials. It usually means cups of, 
bottles of or types of cups of coffee different types of cheese and countable nouns can be grouped as follow powder or grains rice salt flour sand cheese cake etc liquids and gases soup tea coffee water smoke fog materials wood steel gold paper wool cotton data and abstracts love luck education intelligence information advice grouped ideas or concepts fruit money food news luggage subjects math science economics english energy heat cold light sunshine so students you have watched the video now let's move on towards the lesson countable nouns anything that can be counted whether singular like a dog a house a friend etc or plural a few books a lot of oranges etc is a countable noun the following countable nouns examples will help you to see the differences between countable and uncountable noun notice that singular verbs are used with singular countable nouns while plural verbs are used with plural countable nouns few examples there are at least 20 italian restaurants in little italy the verb are is used with restaurants which is a plural form megan took a lot of photographs when she went to grand canyon your book is on the kitchen table here is is the verb and book is a singular uh, noun how many candles are on that birthday cake you have several paintings to study in art appreciation class there's a big brown dog running around the neighborhood uncountable nouns anything that can be counted is that cannot be counted is an uncountable noun even though uncountable nouns are not individual objects they are always singular and one must always use singular verbs in conjunction with the uncountable nouns the following uncountable noun examples will help you to gain even more understanding of how countable and uncountable nouns differ from one another notice that singular verbs are always used with uncountable nouns here are a few examples number 1 there is no more water in the pond number 2 please help yourself to some cheese i need to find information about pulitzer prize winners you seem to have a higher level of intelligence please take good care of your equipment let's get rid of the garbage uncountable nouns can be paired with words expressing plural concept using these words can make your writing more specific Here are some examples to make your understanding even better. Garbage. There are 9 bags of garbage on the curb. Water. Try to drink at least 8 glasses of water each day. 
advice she gave me a useful piece of advice bread please buy a loaf of bread furniture a couch is a piece of furniture equipment a backhoe is an expensive piece of equipment cheese please bag 10 slices of cheese for me here the uncountable nouns are either counted with the containers they are in or even in the larger form so they can be counted as a piece of them so i hope you have understood today's topic by now let's have a look at what we have learned today a noun which can be counted is called a countable noun countable nouns have a singular and a plural form a noun that cannot be counted is called an uncountable noun we cannot use the articles a and with uncountable nouns and lastly uncountable nouns do not have plural form so thank you for watching have a good day allah hafiz